Which one of you is called Stephen, eh? Today is Wednesday, the 9th of September, and we're fishing the Shoreman Beach. What's going on people? It's that time again. Got my fork, got my buckets. It's time to get some worms. Um the only worm got fish. It literally feels like a summer's day again today. Um it's supposed to go up to 22 to 24 degrees I believe. So it's quite nice. The only thing is I broke my one of in the other video. So it's digging and blooming sliders, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I'll find a few worms and then decide where to fish, I guess. Right guys, about 30 worms in there now. I'll just do my first session. Just look around at the weed. It's like a shallow rock pool here, just full of the slimy stuff. Big chunk of it there. But the actual main beaches, reasonably weed free. Apart from the green slimy stuff on the rocks there bit more of the brown stuff down there but I don't know where to fish I was thinking shoring but I always fish shoring but I don't know, been thinking Little Hampton but then their beaches are quite similar to these beaches here which get quite weedy quite easily so the main reason why I tend to fish shoring is just a lot of the time it's weed free I think it's because it's deeper water there and it doesn't go so shallow over low tide but I've got a couple of hours to decide I've got to do the dreaded food shop now so I'll do that and then I'll be back out fishing so I'll see you in a couple of hours guys okay people come down shore right down the barrels here I bumped into another chap for, uh, digging bait and he said he came down here um, the other day so it's pretty much weed free so for me a weed free session is good <laughs> see the water is pretty clear I don't see any weed in there a bit species wise might be able to find a few place cup of bream soul if you're lucky but hopefully the lugworm do a trick so I'm gonna get it set up and show you what bigs I'm using Okay, for my rods today, using my Sonic SKS Black. This is the 14 foot multiplier version. But I'm not using my multiplier, I'm using my fix pool, which is um, the Shakespeare Agility Surf. Only cheap reel, 45, 50 pounds. The rods, 80 to 100 pounds, I guess. Can't remember how much I paid for it now, it's a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, I had no issues using my fixed ball net the other day, so I've gone with that again. Rig wise, apologise for the wind, I'm trying to cover up the mic. Uh, didn't bring my external mic, so it's not what I did. But I just use now one up, one down rig again. But someone messaged me actually, asking me how do you put a log worm on the hook. I don't know if there's a sarcastic comment or. Not too sure, but I'll show you guys how I um, bait up my luck worm anyway. Bye guys. Open the line with the camera. Right, this is a size 2 uh, two way hook. This is a luck worm. This is the main body, tail. And what I do, feed straight through the head of the lug worm literally slide it all the way up the hook without popping it and you see how it reaches the top of the hook here fill it up over the hook not on your hook and I've got some little aluminous beads and I'll use them as bait stops 
but what I do, I just, I hook just the edge of the tail as well, get it past the barb, and that's how I bait up my lugworm. People do it the other way, some people go through the body, out the head, and leave a bit of the tail flapping around, but that's how I generally bait up my lugworm. There you go, single hook on each one there. The bottom hook there just slightly blowed the weight. Now this one, just going to work out probably 50, 60 yards, not a massive blob. Um, just try and find some fish. Okay, my second rod is a TFG Banshee, 13 foot. Had this rod about eight years now, it's done it quite well. Um, not really many signs of wear on it to be honest. And the same as the other work, Bill, another Shakespeare agility. Quite like these reels. Nice and strong, cheap, hold right line, so can't really complain too much. Rig, rig wise, um, using another one up, one down rig. Uh, because I want to try and target some flat fish, I'm using some beads on there, um, a size four hooks. The flat fish tend to have really small mouths and they um, search for their, uh, their prey by sight normally. So a bit of colour in the water and stuff just to attract them. Should hopefully find flatfish. But that's the plan anyway. I'm not whacking this one that far either. And um, the tide's going to be quite a bit already. Still about two and a half hours tight tide, so I'm going to have to move back at some point. But yeah, like I said, this one's going to go up 50, 60 hours. Okay, it's time for me to take my left hand rod. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to go lugworm macro, lugworm macro, and we cast on that rod there. Um, just to save the worms for smaller hooks. They're more likely to find a um, flatfish, I think, I reckon. But that's the plan anyway. So, yeah, I'm trying to take this one in. Both rods have now got fresh bait on. No bites yet, no weed. But my hooks came stripped on my lugworm. So I hope that's a good sign. Got a few people fishing either side of me. Haven't seen anything come up to be honest. Can just about see people on your arm as well. I haven't noticed anything right there either. But I'm hoping it's not gonna be one of those days when I'm blank in. But gotta stay positive, don't we? Really quiet, guys. Nothing's really happening at all. Just don't know what I'm doing on, really. Happy of these gulls flying around. Might give you some sign of the life. Got more coming over. Hope there was a shoal map or something about. At least it gives me something to try and aim for. But yeah, everyone else seems to be packing up and going home as well. Not quite high tide yet, got about another half an hour, so maybe we might switch on once we hit high tide. I've just had a lucky escape, 
that's my shock leader there. You can just see my main line. I've put a knot there. Had weed on the line and it snapped just on the knot. I managed to get the shock leader just in time. We went out into the sea. Um, yeah, and I'm high tide now. Just some of this stringy stuff. The sun's coming. Still no fish, which is a pain in the backside. I'm going to retie this shock leader and um, yeah, get it back out of it. Okay, weed indication for you guys. 15 minutes past high tide and you can see all that big stringy stuff there in the water. It's gone up my line and pulled it down. I think that's probably one of the reasons why my shock leader went last time as well. But yeah, still no fish. Just holding my rod at the moment, just trying to get some height. The other rod's not too bad. A few stringy bits on there. Worth seeing the waves there. They're not enough to pull it down yet. But yeah, it's really quiet on the fishing front. These beaches are all around where I fish have just been so bad recently. Don't know why. Don't know, it's just me. But I've been hearing quite a few people blanking and not catching anything. I don't know what else I can do. Use a fresh bait, mixing up the rigs, changing locations around. Don't know what's causing it. Still time though, eh? Still time. Guys, I hope that gave you an indication of what the weed was in that cast, bringing it back in. Just rebaited up, medical bomb hook, low lug worm on top hook. I'm gonna have to cast out quite far because all that stringy weed, it's all along here. It's already brought my other rods in, I've literally just cast that out two minutes ago. I think the problem is, as soon as you get any weed on the line, it just pulls it down and just gets closer and closer to the, to the rods. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. Why is there no fish? Let me know, do you fish locally? Have you had anything recently? I just remembered, I brought a secret weapon with me. Peel it oil. Never used it before. Got a couple of chunks of mackerel, I'm just gonna make in some sausages and cover it in peel it oil, see if that makes a difference. Maybe something a bit more scent might bring some fish in. There you go guys, a couple of fingers there. Absolutely hums that stuff. So hopefully it brings us some fish in. That's just gonna go on my left hand rod with a two eight hooks. Uh, right hand rod still got the worms on with a uh, size fours and the beads. But it's currently in a load of weed again. That's what's bouncing around a bit funny. But yeah, I'm gonna swap over uh, my two eye hooks and stick on these mackerel fingers. Okay it's 90 minutes past high tide now. It's, I think I'm due for another bait change. Could be my last cast. Even getting big grass so that stringy weed. All just going probably about 5-10 meters out. It's not good it's catching your line and literally pull it down. But on the actual big body itself it seems to be coming back alright. Starting to get all the seagulls floating around, floating around close as well. I don't think that really means anything. Sometimes uh, they're floating around, they know there's fish around. But this just seems to be life at the moment. But it's quite interesting to see the currents going, um, going this way today. Normally it goes this way, high tide. But yeah, a bit strange. Just can't believe how quiet it is. Just checked my bait for the last time on those mackerel fingers. So that's going out again, just freshen it up, added a lug worm to the top hook. And I'm not liking the look of this crowd. I think I'm going to get soaked and I haven't got a jumper, coat, nothing. But it's quite some today out, won't it? 
Yep, this one's going back up. Right guys, that was my last cast with the lugworm. You can see the amount of weed I've just brought up line there. Sort the of are, these stuff. The actual um, rig itself seems to be weed free as I was putting it up. Just need to find it now. <laughs> Still got the shock leader and everything. But yeah, need to take this one down and then I move on to this bad boy. Guys, I feel really cheated. Got really stinky fingers for all this action. Don't know, had fresh bait. I used big hooks, small hooks. Used mackerel. Tried everything. Showed you the weed. Uh, you just seen the weed conditions. It's always blooming raft and stuff. But the, the big bodies are coming back pretty much okay. So it's just on the surface. But just seems to be no blue fish anywhere. Be interested to see if any of you guys are catching them around here. But yeah, no one blanked me unfortunately. But saying that, give this video a thumbs up, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and click that bell notification as well. That way, every time I upload, you get a notification and you can see my video. Hopefully, not too many blank videos. Got um, a couple of spare hours. Tomorrow morning, the only thing is it's low tide tomorrow uh, when I can get out. So I don't know, might try with the lure rod or the other option, the shore and port just over here. You can see the old chimney there. Um, hopefully, I'll go to a port. I should be able to find some small species um, on the, the lure rod, some of the ice and worms or something like that. But yeah, I guess I'll see you in the morning and see, see what conditions are like. This calms out a bit more. It's definitely worth wading out my waders and trying to find a couple of bass. But yeah, I'll see you soon guys. Sorry for the blank, but I'll see you very soon. Yeah, didn't catch any fish. I haven't got any bait left. Go away, leave me alone. Don't like you. Just leave me alone. <laughs>